First of all, thank you for a very generous and magnanimous introduction. Namaskar, Honorable Minister, Law, Works and Excise, Government of Odisha, Sri Ruthiraj Harichandanji, Commissioner, Come Secretary, Health, Ashwati, Madam, Dr. Gautam Khanna from Hinduja Hospital, also two colleagues from Argus whom I know already, Jena sir, Noskar, and Sau sir, Noskar. And all the distinguished uh, delegates comprising, I can see, a spectrum and an array of different disciplines, and that is what health is all about. Health is something, health care is something, and health service delivery is never a single person. No physician, no doctor, or no nurse, no one can claim that it is because of me a patient got well because health service delivery is all about teamwork. As we can see in the award ceremony, we have different strata health service provider being rewarded and awarded because health is nothing about collective and collaborative teamwork. Thank congratulations. In fact, I can also see the future generation ambassadors of health, all the young students and all the policy makers citizens who are aware and activated to participate and contribute to the betterment of health. I also saw people from insurance sector, you have a very strong role with the Ayushman Bharat scheme because without insurance, health financing and out-of-pocket expenditure can be catastrophic and really can disempower a person of his livelihood and lifelong income as well. And most important stakeholder of health who is organizing this event, Argus, and all the media fraternity. Huge congratulations, I think they deserve a big round of applause for the cause of health. Very rarely, maybe two decades back, we never came across media being a proponent of healthcare. Media advocating that every citizen of India, every citizen of our state needs affordable, available, accessible, most importantly, equitable healthcare. So they are the champions and the most important role which I came across, especially of Argus and other media, when the COVID-19 pandemic struck. No one was more alert, apart from government, apart from researcher, apart from health service providers, apart from police. Many times they were knowing the outbreaks before we came to know. So we call them that they are the early alert. They are the field epidemiologist in today's day because no one knows any information quicker than them. Why? Because they have that relationship with community. They have that trust with the community wherein they can get that first-hand information. And not only, sir, all, all sincere request is that the way you have been involved proactively, making every citizen about their health needs, about their health entitlements. Please also make that how each citizen is activated. Because what we see is that in terms of, for example, diabetes medication. Many a times we see a person starts the medicine, but after a certain time, they fail to adhere. A medication adherence or treatment adherence is a big issue or a huge issue in healthcare because already a lot have been told about healthcare delivery. I won't repeat that what are the needs or nots and bolts of an efficient and uh, successful health care. But most importantly, I feel patient is the most important stakeholder for any health care delivery or any health care to be effective. Why? First of all is that a person has to be very much involved about self-care. All the time we discuss about services being provided to a patient, but at the same time, a patient also has to equally participate in his or her health. So my request to or humble submission to all my media fraternity is that how can we make each person aware about their health, also empowered about their health, and at the same time give them that competence or that kind of skills so that they are able to manage their small illnesses, minor illnesses on their own. So when we look at health service delivery pyramid, if you see that, 
60 to 70 percent of our minor illnesses can be managed by self-care. Not necessarily for each problem we have to come to the facility. And therein, as told by very nicely Gautam Khanna ji, we require this point of care diagnostics. Did any one of us know how to measure our oxygen saturation before COVID? No. COVID pandemic taught us that we can monitor our own oxygen saturation. Did any one of us know what is the city value? I have heard many questions from many people from rural area also asking, what is my city value? My COVID test is positive, what is my city value? That shows the patient empowerment through information and here in the media played a very, very critical role. I will next, above the self-care, the second most pillar for a robust health service delivery is strengthening primary health care. There cannot be any substitute, any alternative to a strong primary health care because 90% of our problem and 90% of our problem of 90% of our patient can be tackled at primary health care. So strengthening the primary health care, most importantly now that we are having health and wellness center at Arogya Mandirs, the role is that not only prevent illness, but also promote wellness. So these two, prevention and health promotion, both are equally important and complement each other so that a person doesn't have to move to secondary care or tertiary care. So these two, self-care and primary health care, if they are focused on, I think the footfall or the load on the secondary and tertiary care are going to be reduced. And they can devote their time, their energy, to the cases to which they should ideally do. Many a times we see tertiary hospitals are becoming primary health care center. They are seeing some routine illnesses for which they should not do because they can be easily care taken care of at a primary health care center, which not only reduces the burden on the hospital, but also on the patient. A patient has to move from PSC to a subdivision hospital, from subdivision hospital to a medical college for a problem which could have been easily solved at a PSC. I'm just giving you an example of one research study I did, which shows the whole nitty of a health service uh, delivery. Long back, I did a study with a cancer hospital to find out the time taken between the first appearance of symptom, cancer jo bhi gote symptom, pain hela, bhuko hela ni, kuchi, non-healing ulcer, the first appearance of a symptom and the final diagnosis and treatment initiation. These are the three points, critical milestone in cancer care trajectory. So what we found when we interviewed around 343 individuals who were diagnosed with cancer, we found that the median time interval between the appearance of symptom, ajijati problem hela, that a diagnosis hela, mean time is 263 days. Can you imagine the time taken for the appearance to the diagnosis. While we are saying cancer survival is five years, losing 260 days in just diagnosis is something we really have to look at. Of course it is of, I mean, I'm saying something which is 12 years back. Then after that, being diagnosed and starting the treatment, it took another 111 days. Why? Because they had to arrange their finance, they had to uh, find out some escort who will go and stay there for chemo, but now, these things have been started to be getting solved. We are having daily chem, day, care, day care chemotherapy for which a patient doesn't have to come and stay. We, are, we have delegated the detection of cancer into district hospitals. So what I'm saying is that things are definitely progressing. The way the theme of today's Health Connect is precision, prevention, and progress. We are progressing definitely. And I'm sure with the support of media and with all the citizens who are here, who are committed for making Odisha not only a robust health service provider state, but also as a medical destination for many other states. I'm sure we all, are, we all together can do it. And so not only so the India, but also to the world that Odisha can do it. I'm sure with all of you. Thank you very much. जदि आपन को हम वीडियो टी भल लागिला तबे हम चैनल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करबा को जमा भी बोलंतु नहीं